welcome to a serious log from Denmark. Yeah, whenever a friend of mine or a colleague or a relative goes abroad, I asked him or her to look out for logs for me. <laughs> uh, and recently um, a friend of mine went to Denmark um, and she visited other friends and it happened that her host just re uh, replaced his front door lock and so this old Ruku was laying around. And now ha, it's in my possession. It's a wonderful old Ruku oval cylinder with a very nice key, six pins, pretty good bidding. You can see the two short key pins in the back, uh, hidden behind two long key pins. And lock works very, very nicely. It has a little bit of a catch in the middle, but, but nothing major. It took me quite a while to get it open the first time uh, until I got used to the feedback. And also the keyway is pretty nasty. You cannot really pick from the end of this keyway because there is really no straight line and to pick in the holes of this warding is only possible to a certain amount. So we'll, you will never reach up to uh, set the back pins here. And therefore um, I will first use this medium hook to get started and then later on I will use this very deep hook to set the back pins. And also you cannot tension the plug with a wiper insert tension wrench here on the open side, not to turn it uh, counterclockwise, which I usually prefer, because it gets caught and I didn't manage to find a single wiper insert type tension wrench that would fit. So I will go uh, pin side uh, tensioning and yeah, try to uh, pick it open on camera. I got it open a couple of times off camera, but I'm not sure how, how much effort it will be to get this filmed. So let me clamp it in a vise and then we'll get started. All right, here's the lock clamped in a vise on my first attempt. That's the bidding again. Lock works and is locked up. So let's see if we can get this baby open. It's a, a 1.3 millimeter pry bar that I use to tension a lock on the pin side and I turn it counterclockwise. I start with a very nice pick that I got from TNJ Lock Picking Knot. It has a wonderful profile. Just to get started, I'm on three. Okay, start again. One, two, work my way under three, four, five, and six. Got a little bit from six, but this is not deep enough to set six all the way it needs. So got another click from one, two, Okay, all the pins have reached a certain height, but no good feedback yet on the plug. So usually you will get a little uh, turn on the plug, so like a, like a false set. Then you have to pick these, these spools, or I believe they, the, the lock has these old um, Roku pins inside. We will later on hopefully see how they look like. Some more clicks here. Okay, I will see if I can a little bit of progress with my deep hook on the pins in the back. That's six. And that's five. I think I overset five, so I release tension. Maybe it returns, so check again. That's one. Two is good. Three came back. 
and four came back. Okay. It's a really tricky lock. Sometimes it opens fast, but usually it requires some effort. Okay, now, now I felt a little turn on the plug. Okay, it was a click from from four uh, from five. Sorry. Just slipping away from the pin. Not sure. Because that's not easy to navigate here. Check one again. Okay, one gave me a little click. Two also. I think we're making a little bit of progress here. Ah, count rotation from two. Maybe that was an overset. One, two, three, four, five, and six. I'm not quite sure if I haven't messed it up already. Ah, that was a good click from six. Core turned a little bit, so let's check one. One likes to come back. I think one needs care. Yeah, maybe you've seen that, just a tiny bit of counter rotation. And I would bet that we will find these cool old Asa, eh, Ruku drivers. Okay. These Ruku drivers, they do not give really feedback like from a spool, so you don't touch the, the pin or uh, manipulate the pin and get constant count rotation until it's set, but it's, it's really hard to get any kind of feedback and suddenly it makes a click and then it's uh, hopefully set. So check one again. One needs care. Uh, got a very distinct um, count rotation and set, so this tells me that I'm not too far away from an opening. I think only one pin needs to be set now. I think six is giving feedback here. Okay, I've got a click here from six, maybe one dropped. Ah, one drop, but it's not open yet. Maybe there is more from one, but I doubt. Nope. Okay, check again the back pins. Oh, and it's open. Yeah, that was six or five. And now I want to see what's inside. <laughs> tricky, tricky lock. That's about the average uh, fight that it puts up when I try to get it open. Um, when it's fast, I think it's just pure luck. So, I need a uh, screwdriver. I think this will do. Oops. Oh, oh it's tight. Oh shit. Uh huh. Okay, we'll lock it back up. Oh yeah. Need to stand up and push it really hard down. Okay, now it works. <laughs> okay. Let's hope for the best for the second screw. Okay. The screw is also off. And yeah, that's the first lock where I can use my cool new pinning tray that I got from Foxy Red Cat Imaging. All right, here is the back plate and now this piece comes off. 
Now I think I need a, a very thick follower. That's the thickest follower that I own. I think that's the right size for these uh, um, cylinders. Okay, turn it this way. Key pins are now pointing upwards. This should be fine. Let's. Oh, doesn't fit. That's too big. Oh, that's too big. How about that? Yeah, this fits. All right. Yeah, nice. Look at that. That's a beautiful plug with anti drill pins. Just works perfectly. Wow, very, very nice. All right, <clears throat> put the key to the side. And one is a standard, two is a standard. Very nice pins, very smooth, shiny. Great. Let's have a quick look to the plug really close. Are there lips? Their little lips just looks like I will have a closer look later and let you know but I believe that there are little lips on the edge of these uh, uh, plugs or chambers in the plug yeah okay so now let's check the drivers. Oops, sorry. Oh, ah, these are the new ESA or ESA uh, drivers, yeah. These are the new new ones. It's a tiny little ESA driver. Each and every one of them is a new style asset driver. Very cool. Here are all the springs. Nice steel springs. Let's inspect the housing or the Bible. We have three anti drill pins in the front. I think they drilled it from the from this side here. Nothing spectacular. Ah, we have a option for a sidebar as it looks like. Very interesting. Alright, that was the the housing or the, the Bible. And now let's look at the pins really close. We have standard key pins from 1 to 6. Very nice pins. Oh, this one is upside down. <laughs> and for the drivers, we see that these are the new ESA type uh, drivers. What I meant with the old Ruku drivers, or with the Ruku drivers, I can show you uh, just in a second. I have a model here, so I was thinking that we will find these type of uh, driver pins, but um, I think they replaced it at some point in time with uh, the new style uh, pins like these. Alright, that was um, the uh, Ruku oval cylinder that I got from a friend of mine when she was on vacation in uh, Denmark. Uh, yeah. Very, very nice lock and um, pretty tough pick. Yeah, thank you very much for um, giving this lock to me, Monica, and everybody else. Thank you very much for watching. Happy picking and bye-bye.